Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking your first look, your world exclusive, at a brand new fifth wheel from Primetime. This is the 2021 Primetime Crusader Model 305 RLP. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we like about this fifth wheel and three things we don't like. We're starting at three, Two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I'm super excited. We came all the way to Indiana to do a world exclusive of a brand new product that was just made a week ago that it doesn't even have the specs or a price on it but I'm still super excited to show it to you. But before we begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hi, hey Will. Guys. How's it going? Good. It's super, hot. It's hot here in Indiana. It sure is. Feels like I brought the weather with me from Florida. <laughs> yep. Super excited to show everybody this unit. There's a lot of great new features, and we're gonna get started. Model is the 305, but we actually don't know the exact tip to tip length yet. It comes in at around 34 feet. Again, this is so new, we don't have the weights or the pin, pin weight, but as soon as we get this, depending on when you watch this video, we will update it all down in the specs below. Right up here, you do have the nice fiberglass cap with the blue LED lights right here. Here's your pin box by, made by Lipper Component. And right here, you can see is some storage. It is not prepped for a generator. You do have your solar controllers right there and landing gears this is prime to, the crusader's been out for a while it's just redesigned and this is their mid profile fifth wheel right over here here's where you fill up your propane tank you do have two portable propane tanks one on this side one on the other side will was asking what this is for this is a place for you to leash your dog down when you're at your campsite your dog's not going to be running away with your fifth wheel and then you do have some storage held up by a magnet right here. That's shallow, but very wide. Yeah, mid profile. Or yep. Low. And then you do have a TV hookup from the outside, coax. Now, Crusader has kind of done a redesign from the exterior and interior. And if you could see, they went away from that traditional black and white that everybody's been doing. And they added some gold in it. I think it looks very classy. And then with the new race rail lettering, it is pretty cool. Right here, you do have your lipper component solid steps. I love these. These are a must. I don't know anybody who's not putting them on, but if they do, they should be. You do have nice power awnings, two of them, one right there and one on the slide outs. Let's take a look at them when they're all the way out. Hey, Matt, should we just snap our fingers and put them out? Like the good old days? Sure. You ready? Yeah. Man, just like that. Well, I forgot I had that magic power. <laughs> So look at this, not one, but two awnings with LED lights. I really, really do like this. Down here, these are the tires. They're the Trailer Kings, ST235-80R16. And then right there, you can see that you have your Dexter axles. And then right there, you can see your four-point electric leveling. Cool. Oh. Coming down the side here. Oh. Also another great feature, you do have the LED lights under both awnings. And these awnings do pinch to one side or the other if the wind's blowing too hard or you need the rain to go down on one side. Very nice feature. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky stinky. Spare tire right there. It is prepped for a backup camera, Furion backup camera that you can buy and have it uh, hooked up to your vehicle. Also, you have a ladder to get up on the one-piece TPO roof. Let's go up there and take a look. All right, up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece TPO roof. You have not one, but two air conditioning units. Right there's your wine guard digital antenna, and there's no solar prep for the roof, but you did see the solar prep underneath the uh, front cap there. See this ladder? Yeah. This ladder is very easy to climb up and down on. 
A lot of them are difficult. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What other RV salesman's goal take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> You're learning, Will. Right over here, you got your 50 amp portable uh, power cord right there. Plug it in over there. You gonna go around the other side or? Yep. Go around the other side. So yeah, they're doing like all these types of show things in Indiana. Watch your head. Yeah. Right here's your water heater. This appears to be a 10 gallon water heater. Right here, watch your head. That's where you dump your black and gray tank right there. Okay. And then here, there's your auto leveling power. Oh, I like how they did that. Yep, here's your water hookup. Your black and gray tank dump valves are enclosed. Everything is clean and nice. Watch your head, Will. Oh, and that's the auto level. Yep. I like how they did that too. A lot of times it's in there. Yep. <laughs> Will's so tall. Hey, tall people problems. <laughs> I don't need to look out for the slide. Well, the outside of this fifth wheel looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go, take a look. Oh, hell yeah, that's America, look at this. You got a beer can, you got a beer bottle opener right here as you enter the RV. Take a look at the inside. Just do a quick look around there and then up front. All right, howdy. And then popping in, this is the uh, product manager for Primetime. Hey guys, I'm Jordan. Hi Jordan. Thanks so much for stopping in. If you can give us like, so this is a brand new redesign of the uh, Crusader. If you can give us like a quick 35 second recap on what's new. Yeah, so this floor plan is called a RLP. It's a reliving pantry. And it's a different take on your standard reliving you're gonna find with uh, an extra pantry right here. We put a small pantry in here um, with shelving and cabinetry. It opens up uh, the ability to make this slide out wide open and not compartmentalized and kind of feel like a cave. Yes and allows you to center your countertops around this new residential 24 inch in Sydney range. Ooh. Very nice. That's a huge difference, new backsplash as well, but also this butcher block countertop is probably one of the most striking things when you walk in that you see. Absolutely, it looks really, really good in here. Yeah. It really kind of captures like a farmhouse look in a sense. It does, it's like a, it's rustic, but still contemporary, right? Yep. It's kind of a double thing, double edged sword. Also down here, you're gonna see our zebra shades. These are new for this year as well. So cool. Privacy and daytime shades. Yes, and, and something in the middle too with lighting. You know, yep. Pretty neat. Now also, a big thing is gonna be new furniture as well. Yep. And it's kind of a faux cloth look, but it's actually a vinyl. Cool. Is it comfortable? It is comfortable. So uh, what, what type of stuff inspired you guys behind this? So the biggest thing uh, was we wanted to find a way to make a rear living room different, uh, but more functional. Mm -hmm. Right, Sam. One of the big things was having your coffee pot sitting out all the time um, and stuff like that, and putting it in this little pantry um, and allowing us to do this whole slide out different gave us the ability to open this up and create a larger open feel. And so there's a large window behind this as well. Very nice. But we got kind of uh, tired of the same old, same old floor plan. Yep. You know, everyone loves uh, to use, it's the most functional style you're gonna find for a couple. Yep. Um, but we wanted to find a way to make it better. And also, one of the things that kind of inspired us too with this hutch cabinet in the corner, is to actually, you have a place for you to put your keys, right? Mm -hmm. And being this is our first prototype, the ones in production will have a USB port down here as well. Oh, got it. So it, it'd be a nice place to put your keys and phones. Yeah, that's why I forgot to mention y'all. Uh, this is VIN number 001. And it is a prototype, so the finished product will be... A little more refined. Yep. Perfect. Cool. Well, thanks, thanks so much. Appreciate it, man. Yep, appreciate it. Thanks We're so going to continue the review. Cool. So, as Jordan was saying, here in the living room, look at this. You have a nice sofa. Wow. Queen-size pull-out sleeper sofa. Very nice. Look at the white cabinetry. 
with the uh, transparent glass uh, doors right there that are see-through. I absolutely love this. This is so nice. And then look at this, Will. I can raise it with one finger and it's just, I've never seen that in an RV. Look, that's a big window right here. It's an emergency exit, so you probably shouldn't open it. But somebody like me, I would open it to slide it. And you got more windows there and there. This is going to give you huge cross ventilation. And I love that. Theater seats right here. They are recliners. Are they heated and massage? No, but they do recline. They recline light and they have a USB on them. Yes, yes. Very nice. And then right over here is the televator. I love the wood look right here. You know, it's probably saving money, but it's still classy and sophisticated. You got your Furion soundbar there and your fireplace over there. Over here in the kitchen area, you do have your uh, standing room table with four chairs, your puck style lighting. I like that. I like the wood trim. Whisper quiet air conditioning units, y'all. And it's just great. Well, everybody, it's now time for the MSRP. And Will, can you guess what the MSRP is on VIN number 001? 55. That would be a great guess. Nobody knows the exact MSRP because, again, it still isn't out. By the time you're watching this video, hopefully we will have the MSRP. Once this video is out, if you go down in the description below, we will have links to General RV where you can see the MSRP and sale price. But um, he was telling us that the MSRP is probably going to be somewhere in the mid 50s. So I'm going to tell you 60,000 MSRP, knowing that if it's any lower than that, it's just going to be an even better price. Let's check out this kitchen area. So check this out. A little separation from the living room to the kitchen. Again, you don't have that one big pantry that kind of encloses the kitchen in. Like the solid surface countertops here. You have your white cabinetry. Okay. Very nice. That's where your TV lift is as well. Look at this oven, Will. This oven is absolutely incredible. Insignia, four burner cooktop. You even have a microwave convection oven right there. A little bit more storage. This backsplash looks great, but it's just a sticker. That's not it, a convection oven. It's not? No. How do you know? Microwave. <laughs> All right, not a convection I mean, oven. You don't really need it with an oven like that anyways. Will, don't correct me on the show. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you, Will. That's why I got you here. And then right over here is the kitchen island. Look at this. This is just nice looking. I don't know. It's kind of like a modern. Is it kind of like an art deco? Art deco. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And then look at this. This is a nice big rectangular sink right there with the wood countertop Man, this is nice oh and then look at this oh very nice well i didn't even notice the gold um what you would call it the gold handles we got drawers there nice two-way fridge norcole does run off both propane and electric okay I like this too, the kind of the smoke burn look in a sense. And then again, just to touch on what Jordan was touch on, this little pantry right here, it's this really nice smart. Pan. I mean, it's nice and big too. Like I'm in it right now. You know, yeah, there's plenty see, of room. Yep. <laughs> so cool. Nice. We already saw this. Oh, and here's something that Jordan was touching on when he was showing us the product. Everything, your awnings, your lights, your slide outs, is going to be controlled right here and through your cell phone. But I'm not a huge fan of that. But it's okay because there is manual buttons as well, just in case this ever fails or in case you can't figure out how to use that. That is what I'm a fan of. Let's check out the bathroom. Look at the shower. This is a huge 40, 40 inch shower right here. Plenty of space. You have the little seat here, glass door. Very nice. Will, please, if you would do us the favor and go in the shower. Okay. Got to put your ma mask on for your wife. <laughs> Will is six foot three, y'all. Look at that. 
I have room without. Yeah, I without mean, barely, the but yeah. That is awesome. What a great size, especially for a mid-profile fifth wheel. Um, very spacious. Sink here. You got storage, sink, medicine cabinet. You do have a white pocket door that slides. And now it's time for the toilet test. Where's the toilet paper holder? I don't see it, but you probably put it right here, which mm -hmm. I like. Nice. This is um Will. This is a prime pooping position. <laughs> Bing! Also, it's 112 degrees in here. Oh, oh my gosh. Can you see all the sweat? <laughs> Let's finish up with the bedroom. Finishing up with the bedroom. There is a slide out in here. It's the wardrobe slide out. Okay. You have your fully walk around bed. There is a little step up here, but that's what's gonna give you nicer storage. Um, you have this right here. Oh, no ducting for the air conditioning right there. And you have a little bit more storage there. Nice queen size bed. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give them three things we love about this fifth wheel and three things we don't like about it. Will, what should we do first? Three things we don't like about it. Okay, perfect. Sorry to make you come back up. <laughs> Let's come back up. First thing I do not like about this fifth wheel is this step up in the bedroom. There's nothing you can really do about it with the mid profile, but, and I'd say it's no big deal for me. If you're five foot five or smaller, you could still stand on this and have plenty of headroom. But if you're somebody like Will's height, then you know, you're gonna need to be ducking and crouching your head. So that's one. Two, Will, do you have a dislike? Um, I do on the outside. Well, why don't you show us? Okay. Put your mask on for your wife. My dislike is with the pin box. Oh, There's talk nothing, to me. You know, they didn't use the operated pin box or anything. It's just a standard, regular old pin box which does not make for the best driving experience when towing a fifth wheel. But here's the great part about that. Yep. Every pin box can be optioned out That's and right. then you can get your own pin box. Which pin box do you recommend? Um, probably a trail air. I yeah. Mean, if you want something really good. Yep, for sure. But that's what's awesome. And you can get trail air or the, uh, or the, uh, what, what's the blue company? Um, I don't know. We'll I forget. We can put a link. Yep, we'll have links down in the uh, description below. Who's the other one? trail air and or a uh, more ride more ride yep. yeah yep okay so that's two and then the third dislike i'm gonna say is here it's just the storage right up here and the storage so that storage is really low it is you know and i have a mid-profile cougar i mean fifth wheel yeah wheel cougar yeah but it's not it's a lot a lot taller than that right now, and i don't have to step up but i have the east west bed and that's probably why right but you know there might be some things maybe that's why we're getting the higher ceilings inside or whatever and there, there's always sacrifices there yep. get, there's give and takes to it so great that's three things we don't like about this fifth wheel now it's time for three things we love about it is there anything on the outside um, mine's all inside i think mine's inside cool let's go inside First thing I absolutely am going to say that I love about this fifth wheel, I love the cabinetry look and I love this countertop. Just the new appointed finishes, the redesigns on the inside. This is like a fifth wheel that I've never seen. This is like an RV that I've never seen. I mean, look at the appointments, the lights, like somebody actually took their time to design this like a real interior designer. And I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Will and I, we've been in Indiana all week, going to factory tours, this, that, and another, and this might be one of the prettiest RVs that I've seen. Definitely. So that's one. Two. Mine is right behind you. I like this nice, big, insignia stove and all that. Residential size. Resident, apartment residential. Apartment residential. <laughs> it's still you know, small. residential in a real small house. Yeah. It's still small. But practical. But practical. You can put a rotisserie chicken in. Yep. 
It works more like a regular oven, not like an RV oven that's really a waste of space. Dude, some of those RV ovens, I mean, you can't even put a DiGiorno pizza in. I know, yeah. And so this, you, you actually can. So that's two, and then to add to that, I'm gonna say that pantry right there. Mm -hmm. So here's what I mean. So many times in this floor plan, they have this big pantry here, which really makes it claustrophobic like you have a separate living area and a separate kitchen and it does it's not open and it doesn't flow well with this with them doing this and designing this i mean here's where you can keep your coffee pot you have a door you have a huge pantry you can put all your stuff in and you still get that open and flowy flowy fifth wheel in what's considered a relatively small fifth wheel you know i mean it's a small it's fifth a wheel made profile yeah yep and it doesn't it with that it doesn't feel like it but outside well okay <laughs> that's it everyone that's the review i want to thank everybody at prime time for having us out here and if you guys haven't seen well just do a quick 360. um we did a live factory video a few days ago we'll link that down in the description below where we took a look at all of the new prime time lineups they have if you guys have any questions about the fifth wheel, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's myself. Or check out the website mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page below. Also, make sure you go to General RV's website. It's the dealership I work for. I'll have links to them down in the description below. And hopefully, by the time you're watching this, We'll have more information about this awesome fifth wheel, floor plans, pricing, and specs. Will, do you have anything you want to say to the people? Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, beautiful fifth wheel, so I hope you guys really enjoyed the, the video. And um, I think it's going to be, you know, I think a lot of people are really going to be happy with it. Great. And thanks so much for coming out to Indiana. Of course. My best friend. <laughs> and Will, Will's going to be a great addition to the team just because how tall he is, you know? <laughs> For all you tall people. Great. Thanks so much for watching. Will. We'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.